Go. Thank you to participating and listening to the Lower Class Podcast. This is Pony. This is Ziggy. How are we doing today? <laughs> what was up with that intro, man? Which one? We're not a radio talk show. We are now. I just made it into a radio Yeah, talk. so... Uh, I tried a different mic today. I tried to use two mics at the same time, but this software I downloaded from this website wasn't working too well, so... I gotta do some little minor tweaking here and there because I don't want to because I have my headset the one I use for my PS4 But the thing is I'm hearing Pony's voice through mine, which should be only coming to his yes. So there's gonna be too much echo It's until burn. We, until we have this, that sorted out. I don't know. We, we probably need like, like a sound guy or something because I don't know much about sound really which which is kind of disappointing. We try to do two mics at the same time. And there's yeah. actually three mics. Because there's two mics and then we have Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would have been nice if we could use two mics at the same time and it sounded super clear instead of us being at a distance. It did, it did sound kind of distant. Yeah. Kind of sharp. Just like that. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I guess everything's gone well. Everything is well, good and dandy, mm -hmm. right? So, like always, we're always trying to invite people. Yeah, we're um, trying to get more listeners. And uh, the other thing is too, like I've mentioned before, and I'll mention it again until it goes to your fucking heads, is we need to know what you guys think about us doing this podcast because because I'm starting to lose hope a little bit here. Because nobody's telling us what we need to improve, what should we talk about, or what you want to hear. I mean, we got a suggestion last time about trendy things, but everything else is kind of like we, when we're posting shit on, uh, on YouTube, we're not getting any fucking, nobody's commenting or nothing or like that, you know? I mean, it would help a lot if you guys comment a little bit so we know that we're doing something right or something wrong, you know? Yeah, at this point, I'll accept negative feedback. I don't give a shit. At least it's something. I was in, I invite negative feedback. It's the best type of feedback I can get. That's the most honest feedback I can get, actually. Uh, right now, I do actually have probably three people on the list. List of what? List of people coming in. Like who? They're available. I mean, it's like three friends. Like right now, I was talking to one of my friends from uh, from the last hotel I used to work for. And she's a, he's available. I, I'm at, I just asked him right now. He's available on Wednesdays uh, right. around six. But last hotel you mean you used to work? Yeah, for? and then he used to work there, but he quit like within five months. But um, what was he front desk? Yeah, he was front desk. He's pretty cool though. He's pretty chill. He's funny, very funny. But uh, yeah, like I, but these people are available though. Who are, the, who are the other ones? The other ones will be Annabelle, or not her cousin. Her cousin's funny too. Uh, Who's your cousin? Uh, his name is uh, Peter. Mm. Pretty funny. Uh, you got this other guy like I was mentioning. His name Hugo, and obviously we always have Jacinia, mm -hmm. which is that's really fun because technically we we almost went two hours on the podcast last time because we were like, uh -huh. you know, yeah, it went on longer than expected. Yeah, yes. For a fun fact, we were all, all drunk and it was funny. Actually, I was coming down, but you know, really, you were coming down. Mm -hmm. Oh, you probably didn't have them all. Oh, oh. It takes a lot for me to get messed up. Oh, you're not, because we were drink you were tasting your beer, probably. I was what? We were tw tasting your beer? Or, we like, you chugging that damn beer No, down. I was chugging it, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. You probably had your own, like, a little bit of scotch with you, then. Because for me, I, I drink heavier beers, like, more than 9%. You should probably try uh, drinking whiskey on the show. Actually, I'm pretty sure I work with you. I mean, you're smoking uh, a cigarette right see, now. See, the thing is, if, if I drink whiskey with, uh... <laughs> with the podcast my brain's gonna go to shit no no I don't doubt it dude I think because what happened last time like I don't think I think kind of kills the edge off everything and then like right now I'm, I'm on wine so I feel pretty good pretty happy trust me I, I don't really encourage people drinking no actually I encourage it all you the time you know there's one upside of just recording audio we could do whatever we want now we could be drinking in the background we could be smoking and you guys wouldn't know yeah the only way you know because uh, you could hear my lighter. Do you know what I do when I do invite people? I tell them there's like beer available. 
like once they come in so like that because because it does take off the edge because a lot of people i am talking to they're always saying oh i'm nervous oh it's gonna get awkward it's like because you're saying i said the same thing i'm like no don't worry about it it's gonna be fun it's just casual no camera I mean, it's just their voices There's yeah no but they're nervous because they don't know what to expect like they're like uh, it's like meeting a new person Shit, when we first did start out we were fucking crap compared to now yeah. Like, now I'm used to hearing my voice. No, yeah, of course. But I'm saying, like, because you have people involved, people have the tendency to be social, awkward, socially yeah, awkward. so, fucking Josh, man, he's already beat us, man. Like, yeah. we were at we were at the same episodes. Now he's at, what, like, episode 24? 60-something. Wait, what? Yeah, I think he's at 60-something. No, he's not. Or something like that. I think I saw no, he's, it. like, on 20-something. Really? Should check his Instagram. I think it's, like, at, it's at 24 or something like that. 24? Yeah. Let me show Twenty-four. I am comics. Oh, there it is. Twenty-three. My Twenty-three. Bad. My bad. So he's at twenty-three already. Fuck. When are we gonna collaborate with them? Well, I mean, when we have the time, because he's when, on. When do they do their podcast? They he does usually every I think Wednesday. I think I think every Wednesday or Thursday. Or every Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure. But he's always off Saturday and Sunday, so he's off on the weekends. Uh-huh. Which I'm not. I'm not off on the weekends, so I can't really be where, there. Where does he record? He works from, from his house. Mm. He does it from his house, his room. Uh, sometimes from... He, well, I mean, obviously he travels around, so he talks to people. So it's not like he's always in his house. He does go to a comic shop and then he interviews. Is he still using it on my? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Like, he's doing pretty well. Which is good. I, I really enjoy that. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really listened to his podcast, really, but I'll probably start listening to it in a little bit. Because, you know, I like comics, too, and shit. Or anything Marvel or whatever they talk about. True. Like him, like, he's a, he's a stoner. Him and his friend are stoners. And, and then, like I, was, like I was saying, like, um, alcohol for us would be alcohol because it takes us off the edge. For them, it would be getting high. So it gets it takes that off the edge. That's why I always involve alcohol. Well, w- but we're not on the edge though. No, I mean it's not that. It's uh, when you're on, I don't know. Like remember, like I, I was viewing like the old podcast, the mm-hmm. video ones. Like look, uh, look how awkward we were. I know. Just first starting. You know? Yeah, of course, and that's getting after views. But I'm saying like with other people coming in, they get awkward. So they're gonna do the same thing we did in the beginning. You know who was awkward was your friend Felipe. He kind of just. Just to, just that's what I'm saying. There, yeah. Like that's how people are. That's just exact. That's yeah. a perfect example of uh, if you don't involve a certain substance that probably can just let them get loose and whatever. Then it's like like you're saying, yeah, like that. Yeah, day. like like I said before, uh, if uh, what's it called if because say if I had somebody else besides you on the podcast, if uh, to take your place, say if you couldn't make it because you were doing something else. Mm-hmm. It would be kind of weird to have somebody else on the show if it's not us because we just have that, you know. Yeah, interaction. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's like exactly what I'm saying. Like when when you say it came, she was exactly the same thing. She was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be kind of shy, this and that," and I'm like, "No, don't worry about it." It's just you know, it was kind of weird though. I didn't I didn't think she was gonna stay behind, and then you left. That was kind of strange because I never. She been... was pretty buzzed, so she didn't want to drunk. Like yeah. drunk. I got. But then again, she she wasn't really. She didn't seem too drunk. No. No, I remember I had those fucking shit cigarettes, and then I I remember because she was sitting right here, and we were like listening to the podcast. We didn't listen. Yeah. We, we didn't really listen to the podcast, but she was like, she saw me bite the take out the filter and yeah. split it in half. Like, how'd you do that? I'm like, I just bit it and took it off. <laughs> and then she made me touch her eyelashes. Like, oh look, my fake eyelashes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, that's that's yeah, that, of course. But uh, yeah, that's um. Because I didn't know she drank, you know? She did, yeah. Especially if she goes to church and everything like that. Well, I mean, you can't get drunk, but I mean, we were just buzzing it. But at the same time, like I said, like, um, I just, you just need to get loose, in other words. Like, it helps a lot to get loose. It's Has she of, listened to the podcast? I, I, well, I think in that day, but I'm not having talked to her recently. She's like, she's been busy for quite a while. But yeah, yeah like, I mean, we're going to make it accessible. We'll probably put it on something where you could probably listen to your car. Actually, you know what? <laughs> you could actually listen to your car. Just put, just plug your phone, or if you have like auxiliary cord, just play the, play the, you know, the YouTube video or audio on, so you could hear it while you're driving. You could do that that too. See, the thing is, I I got a free trial of YouTube Red, which is you can't you could uh le so your phone's like like this. You could actually press it, and it's still it'll still play in the background. Uh. 
because when normally when you you play a YouTube video and you press the lock button, it stops playing. But for mine, it, it just keeps going. Ding. It's pretty interesting. But the the subscription is gonna end pretty soon. I think in May. Oh, all right. But what? Wait. So what? What happened when she stayed behind? <laughs> I don't know. We were just kind of talking, you know. She wanted to hear the podcast, but yet we just started talking, you know. Yeah, and what she said about the podcast when she heard it. We we only we only listened to like maybe like a couple of seconds, and then I paused it because she wanted to talk about something else. I can't remember what the fuck we we're talking about. That's fucking crazy, dude. But uh. Yeah, that's why I involve alcohol because gets people out of the edge. Like it, it gets them involved a little more conversation wise. Yeah, of course. That's why I was mentioned. That's why I, like I always mention them. So well, it's gonna be some alcohol. So like that, you guys can just relax, talk a little bit, and so on. It's just better like that. People relax a little bit when there's something involved because it does get awkward. Like when she came in, it, it did kind of get awkward. But then she like we're like go ahead. It's, natural conversation you just do your thing and then it happened like everything it it was two hours long so it was pretty nice it was very comfortable mm-hmm. so that's what I want to do with other people it's like okay well it's comfortable just relax just talk whatever you can you, you got to talk about and then we're good you know I mean depending on the subject and the the subject did come up I mean during that time which is a perfect subject so it was cool it was fun yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I've noticed we're not getting too many listeners anymore compared to before. Like our, our before our uh, most listened uh, podcast was probably thirty eight views. Oh shit! That's only because this girl that was messing around that had a boyfriend. She uh, she listened to all of our podcasts at the time. Oh okay. okay. So she went throughout the whole video. Well, how many views does it have the, the, the one we did with Yesenia have? Um, I don't think it has that many, but I could check right now. Really? River? That's crazy though. But yeah, like, I, I, yeah, I have some people set up to go, so I do mention all that stuff. Let's see, that's episode 21. No, that's 20. 12. Is it 12 or is it 20, dude? Episode 20 is 12. Oh, okay. And all the other ones that I uploaded with just the audio, they don't have that many views. They only have no views or two views. I, I think what views. it is, it's more because people go for the, the camera thing. But it's because... People, I don't know. I'm done with the camera thing. It no, takes of course. But I'm saying, like, that's why people were viewing it, because they saw a video. Not, not just, like, a... Yeah, I mean, there's most podcasts when they uh, they have like a YouTube channel, they have the video set up too, but we don't have it set up like that anymore. Maybe if we go live, eventually we'll do that. We'll I'll have the the webcam connected, and then uh, you know we'll do it that way. True. So at least that way, or we could do a live video on on Instagram or something. Yeah, well, that's kind of scary. But on the YouTube one, we could probably do, because at least when somebody's viewing it, they could comment right there, because there's a little chat box. Yeah, but it really depends how many people view it. Yeah, we, I mean, uh, I promote as much as, as much as I can through our Instagram, the Lower Class Podcast Instagram, and then through my Instagram, too. I mean, uh, yesterday, I, I took a clip from our last episode when we were talking about Ghost in the Shell, and I put on my Instagram, and I got a lot of views on that one. Nice. Got a bunch of likes too, like thirty plus. What do you do live on Instagram right now? How many views do you think you'll get? I don't know. Cause it, it is an example, like depending on how many views you will get. Do you want to go live right now? I guess. I guess. So who's who do you have on there? Everyone, everybody you know, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> What's true, dude? I mean, that's the only ex- the only way you can figure these things out. Ah uh, man, you put a video of me. Yeah, you should probably listen to it. <laughs> But yeah, dude, it's, yeah, I'm hoping you just have to be patient still. It's over close to... I have like that stupid fa- look on my face. Overview. Like trying to fucking concentrate.
All right, welcome back. We just took right, a little small a break. break. Uh, we're gonna uh, do a live video on the, on Instagram right now. I'm just gonna find something for my phone to lean up against, so I could just prop it up like this. And this is due to statistical reasons. It's yeah, just we just, just want to see what what kind of uh, I might have prop it up on the. But yeah, it's to see uh, how many views you'll get. No, no, get, get, get that thing behind you. What thing? That box. Yeah, that thing. Just right. to see what happens if you want to do it that way. You want to go on this side, but the sun's like blocking. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Well, I mean, you get to switch the mic. Well, I can't. I don't have to go that far. It'll be like right here. But yes, so we're gonna try to see what happens when you go live. Yes. Yes. What happens? I mean, we need to go higher though, like so we can see our faces. Like it has to be like right here. Up? Yeah, more up. So yeah, we'll see what's what's gonna happen. Hold on, just bear with us right now. Oh there you go, that, that worked. So we just put it like right in front of it and then we'll just put it on top. Okay, there you go, that that's it. Alright Michael Manoli. I don't know why you keep calling me that. Manoli. Because it's funny. Does your, uh, does your phone go on standby? What do you mean standby? Like it turns off by itself? N not, if it, not, if it, not if it's like this. Alright, now let's check in connection. There it goes. You're now live. Alright. Alright, so now we are live. So yes, we're going to try this out just to see how, what is the statistics that people view. Let's see who does view us. Depending on the views, then we'll probably, maybe, I'm not sure, we'll probably do this, not constantly, I hope. No, this is like a first thing, first time, I don't know, it might be the only time, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if we'll get any people try to view it or not view it. Yeah, we're going to see it like a, like a teleton. Let's yeah, see. So far, there's nobody. Oh, somebody joined. Who joined? That's, uh, what's it called, uh? My friend Rudy. Oh, all right, all right, nice, nice. Yeah, but yeah. So, <laughs> so yes. Again, statistical is kind of like telethon. Let's see who views and who doesn't. At least that gives them a perspective of who is viewing these videos, right? Mm -hmm. Well, on top of that, we can get some opinions. This is perfect, which is fantastic. I enjoy this very much. Pretty nervous, pretty nerve-wracking. As you can see, I'm very nervous. Yeah, it's a little nervous. I'm getting a little nervous myself, actually. Yeah, it's normal since we should be c comfortable with this again. But yeah, like. So, again, we'll see what we can do is to get uh, more entertaining, I guess. Mm -hmm. Entertaining in this, our little radio show, podcast, so on and so on, right? Yep. But yeah, um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy, like, because we've been trying our best just to get as much as people to view us. It's just not as... Yeah, we do enough promoting to, uh... You do you know. think is it, is the subject matter is more of, like, the subjects that we no, choose to talk about? I don't think so. It shouldn't be. Because we, like, last... Well, like I we said... We don't really limit ourselves on what we talk about. Well, we really... Yeah, we don't... Literally don't not limit ourselves. No, we, we talk about anything that's on our mind. Like, last one, we talked about, uh... Movies and time travel and... Time travel. <laughs> and all that shit. <laughs> movies yeah. and time travel. Like, Back yeah. to the Future type of shit. Pretty much, yeah. No, yeah, I, I think, seriously, I think the one that I enjoyed the most was uh, episode 20. Oh, of course. I did enjoy that because it was two hours. It was two hours. And plus, was, we had another person that was with us, too. Yeah, and it was, and the, the the subject was, you know, obviously relationship-wise and so on. Mm -hmm. And well, it was more targeted to, towards you, but... But see, that's the thing I don't want. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about it before. I don't want it, the podcast to be about me. Only. Well, it's not, it's not about you. I mean, it, just think about it like this. Yeah, but see, the thing is that... It, you were used as an example. You, as yeah, a, but still, a we, we we used on the previous podcast too, like the ones before <laughs> that. I forgot which episode it was, <laughs> but it talked about the same thing. Yeah, but this was different. This one had more interest in it. You get me? This yeah. time, this time we got a perspective of a woman. Don't be embarrassed, Michael. It's not all not embarrassed, man. It, it doesn't know you. Hmm? What what's wrong? You know, I don't like, know. It's it's because we're we're not we're not a relationship podcast. No, that's the whole point. We're an everything podcast. 
Yeah. We're not. We can talk about anything that interests us. Because watch, when I say interest, is what keeps you going on the one whole two hours. We got. We went on it for two hours straight. That's interest. That's 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 something that we found very interesting and very entertaining for quite a while. But I mean, it was influenced by beer. But it was fun. It was funny, fun. Well, anything. Alcohol makes anything sound better. Which is fun. And then even I like I guess it makes it more relaxed when it comes to anything. When I when I heard it on the on my car when I was driving just to see what the fuck. I yeah, was, I actually knew that you were gonna take a while, so I, I made some food real quick. I was like, this guy's gonna take a little while to get here. Oh, I'm gonna cook me some lunch and then When? When you came here. Oh okay. I was like you, you your gym's not that far. Mine's on Third Avenue. But it doesn't take that long to drive here. Well I know the short guys. I, I'm going on the streets. Like, because right now, well, there's traffic. At 3 p.m. Wait, is that 3rd Avenue downtown? No, 3rd Avenue and uh, East Street. 3rd Avenue and East Street, the 24-hour fitness. That's not 3rd Avenue. That's 3rd Avenue. East so there's, Street. There's, there's a big-ass uh, yeah. sign that says 3rd Avenue on it. Yeah, it's 3rd Avenue downtown. What? 3rd Avenue downtown. I guess. It, I, yeah. I, I kind of chill this, though. Well, it, it's ch- downtown chill Vista. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Not downtown San Diego. No. It's a difference. But yeah, no, it's not that far, dude. Because it's, uh, I take the streets when there's traffic. This, this, I take the back streets, and it's really easy to get through the traffic. Well, well there's not that much traffic, though. At this. Oh, yes, going south? Fuck yes. It's the way you were Oh, yeah, right, yeah, going south, there is traffic. In the morning? Going north is... Worse. Um, yeah, yeah, going north and during this time, there's no traffic. But going mm. north on the morning, yes, of course. Are you traffic. sweating? No, it's just, I'm just glistering. It's just the <laughs> fucking sun is just in my face. I'm, like, basting right now. Fuck that. But yeah, yeah, I don't really get su- I get sweaty, but I also get greasy, which is kind of gross. That's why I don't wear any lotion. Any, no, I do. I wear lotion on my face too because it gets kind of dry. All right, we're skipping the subject. But overall, though, the it's that was that was the whole point of uh, the, doing this. This whole point of doing this, what we're doing now, that we've been doing for what a year, mm-hmm. close to a year already a year. It's already a year. Is it already a year? Yeah, that's the main. Do- it was uh, last year. I think it's in January, so it's already been a year. We do it. We, we should have done a, a fucking one year anniversary of this. Well, thing. we can always do it with someone here. Well, I mean, you said it would come next yeah, week. Yeah, because we we it was supposed to be July. Hang on. Ah, oh, crap! I can't even check it. Well, I mean, it's whatever go, it is. Go on your. No, I mean it doesn't matter right now at the moment. We can always announce it on the next. No, one. I just want to know. No, because it, it already passed. But it's. It should be one of the podcasts that I edited that I just converted into to just audio. It's, uh, she's still. I so think it's episode zero. Zero. Well, yeah, obviously. It's yeah. Should be the first that's, one we made. The first one, yeah. It should say the date right there, like January something. No, but like we did, we did all this just because we were bored at first. Bored. Mhm. So we, technically, this 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 whole thing was to entertain ourselves now I just became more of the matter of uh, trying to entertain other people right that's the whole point is entertain other people while we entertain ourselves with uh, conversation jokes and so on January 7th that was a while back yeah we didn't even that's when we stopped right uh, for like well, how long did when we when did we start again I don't remember podcast? was like early 2016 I mean late 2016 I don't remember Maybe. I really don't remember. Yeah, I neither mean, do I. That was a while. I mean, like I said before, we we would have had over a hundred episodes by now if we didn't take that hiatus. I know. No, but I mean, yes, overall. But we, we would have been at least at fifty by now. But I guess I was more discour- discouraged not doing it anymore, just because it's because we didn't get that much many views anymore. And we don't have much of a fan base. Not no more. Yeah. Well, I mean, when we were doing video, we did, but not more. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the fucking video. No, like, I know. This is the only time we'll do video, man. No, I know. But, but it's live. My whole point is, uh, my, my point is that people, I'm not saying that I want to be on the video. I'm saying that the reason people are viewing it is Well, yeah, because YouTube is about yourself and other things with video. It's yeah. not necessarily about just the podcast and with our image just but there was a on face the on the fucking it. screen. There's yeah. a face to entertain, like TV. People watch TV because they can entertain. Well, I don't know. It maybe if if they would let us know if whoever still listens to our podcast, we could find out if uh, you know um, if they prefer us doing video, and maybe we'll go back to it. I don't know. No, but I know. Maybe I know. We'll, I maybe we'll do like maybe one podcast when it's just audio, and then maybe the next one will be video. We'll like kind of go back and forth. 
But at the same time, it's a podcast. We're not we're not here to to see our faces. No, no, that's not my point. My point is that people usually watch this statistically. People view like this, like we're it's just audio now. We don't have as much views as we did. Uh, now it's more because there. Then I mean, then was because there was a face on it. People get entertained because of the face, whatever. You mean like, like we said before? I don't know if you've said this on the podcast yet, but um. The reason why some other uh, some other podcasters are doing so much better is because they were celebrities. Yeah, some of them, not all of them. Yeah, some of them, but the ones that are big, like uh, Joe Rogan, um, um, all all uh, those Adam Carolla, Adam Carolla, and then Johnny Bravo, and Joey Diaz, all that because they're Johnny Bravo, that cartoon. No, no, Johnny Bravo is a MMA fighter. Oh, he's an MMA fighter. He's really he's really popular. He has a gym right here on uh, Spring Valley. Yeah, I mean, we, maybe we have to get the stickers, man. Maybe we put it like, because we gotta re-edit the logo so it has our YouTube channel on the side of it, yeah. going around it. So when you put the sticker on anywhere, they could see. Oh, let's check, let's check that shit out. No, I understand that, but I'm, like my whole point was that then people liked it because it's a face. That's the only reason people liked it. That's the only reason. That's my point. Because their face, that people get entertained by a face. I mean, obviously nowadays that's what it is. People are narcissistic and self-conscious, so that's what it is. They need somebody to judge, I guess you can say. Yeah, but I want to make it different, you know. Just of course, well, that's what we suggested. The audio. you know maybe maybe we'll do we'll do a podcast with video, but we won't do it too frequently. I don't want to find a different website to upload all the podcasts instead of YouTube. Maybe it's just because... No, you. everybody uses YouTube. You can't. Yeah, I know. But see, the thing is, I don't know. It's. It seems like nobody cares. Well, because... I don't know. There's the statistics on YouTube, too. So that many people watch. That's the first thing that pops up on the on your feed, on your hub. Have you ever noticed when you open YouTube, it's like the first thing that pops up? Yeah, because when we first started, we were getting comments from some people, but just ones that we didn't want to hear from. Just like that one time with Stupid Bitches... True. And they fucking commented. You, you guys were going back and forth. I don't know why you engaged in that. You, oh, because I find it funny. Just I, left it, dude. I find engaging and interaction funny. Yeah, and plus, but now, now when if so, if we ever do get comments on the podcast, you got We have to approve it first. What do you mean approve it? Like it's gonna be pending for approval. We should just before it. Be, huh? Just approve all of them. Fuck it. Well, some of them are spam though. Oh, fuck spam. Yeah, that's why we gotta approve them. No, but yeah. But then so, again, it's rare that we'll get any comments anymore. True. But yeah, like, dude, so with the whole comment thing, okay, escape away from the whole camera and audio bullshit. The reason I probably went back and forth with the opinion and someone, you know, whatever, talking shit, is just because it's funny to see interaction. I'm a person of action. Like, I like to see people react. There's always an action. There's always a reaction to an action. That's my point. That's I love reaction. It's that's funny to me. I find it funny. I studied psychology for two years, dropped out, but that's the main reason I did it because I love to see how people react to certain things. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Like it's I have to. It makes me laugh. If people get ang- if I say something, and people get angry. Then you know, of course I apologize, but then I'll say you know something stupid and funny. That's just me. Of course. I've done it so many times where people get angry, and I'll come back with something funny. And then it will, oh, hello, we're friends again, type of thing. Mm-hmm. Kumbaya and shit. <laughs> you know? That's basically what it, what it is. But yeah, I, I, I love the interaction. I enjoy interaction. I don't... I like interaction when it's not controlled. That's right, it. exactly. I don't yeah. like interaction mm-hmm. when it is controlled. I, I, I can't... If I can control it, it's just, it's like a... You remember that, that stupid... Um, that weird animal from the commercial from Cinnamon... Those uh, cinnamon cereal commercials, where it's like little weird furry, little weird dog looking thing. He's a, anyway. Cinnamon. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. Well, kind of like that. It's, it's like holding back myself. I need I to never be heard of that. You never. You. What cinnamon thing you're talking about? It was a cereal commercial. It had like had like a little, fucking dog looking shit, and it would go crazy for the, this one cereal and shit. Are you talking about Cookie Crisp? No, the cookie crisp would be the one with two dogs and and th- this weird retarded bear looking thing. But yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Whatever. But that, my whole point is that like <clears throat> if someone holds me back and like being myself, I, it's, I'm just gonna be I'm come you know what I mean? It's like I'm, well yeah, because when we when we're recording this podcast, we're not putting on an act. This is just like a normal conversation for us. Yeah. Even if I wasn't, if I 
if I wasn't, you know, on camera or, or recording this, you know, we still talk the same way we do right now. But yeah, like that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but yeah, that's that's why I find those things entertaining. I like people reacting to you be you yourself, you being yourself. In other words, you know what I mean? That's basically it. Mm -hmm. That's that's I love reaction, man. That's what it is. It's just funny. That's why I say some random shit sometimes is to see people like react. Or in an awkward situation, I'm usually the one that breaks the ice because I don't like awkward silence. <laughs> Who it, doesn't? I hate awkward silence. Well, you know, I don't actually, you know, I don't mind it because I, I, I've i been quiet most of my life. So it's not, it's nothing too... New to you? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, I'm not saying it's new to me, but I just don't like it. Like I, before I used to go out the whole day without even saying a word. Yeah. No, I understand. I I don't. I, I'm just used to being by myself. Oh, I see. But you're not even old. That's crazy though. But you're not only child. That's the crazy part. Yeah, I'm not an only child. That's crazy. Yeah. No, but I I, I mean, think it's just the way I was brought up. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, yeah, I'm I, just not very social. I mean, I'll talk to people like when I go to like fucking like, well, I drink with friends and everything like that. But that's because I've been I've been drinking already. If I was kind of sober, I'd be like, go away, man. Don't talk to me. That, and that's the, my other example of like influencing people to drink when they're here. Because <laughs> the last thing we want is that. Uh, I know, but at the same time, I don't want to depend on alcohol to, to engage in anything like that. Well, I mean, you got to remember, uh, alcohol, it's like a... Uh, you know how they say, oh, you socially drink? That's basically what it is. It's social. Yeah, ba basically, I'm a social drinker. Yeah, but uh, you got to remember, too, like when you barely meet somebody, you're always awkwardly silent. Like, everybody's awkwardly silent, no matter who it is. You're just like, oh, hello, how you doing? And trying to find a subject that you guys do uh, do relate to. So I always bring that up. I was always that guy who would, uh, if I had a party and it was kind of socially awkward, I would encourage people to drink just for it to have be fun, you know? Yeah, just to let anybody know that that that's watching our uh, live video right now is uh, we're actually recording a podcast and we just wanted to see how many people actually view this live video. And how many people have been viewing it? You yeah. are part of a statistic, just to there's let you three. know. There's three so far. But it doesn't say who left, though. I don't know if they're still watching or they left. Ah. It just says blah, 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 joined. Blah. Yeah, dude. It's, it's, um, it's social, what do you call this? Awkward silence is bad. I hate awkward silence. I really hate awkward silence. Actually, I really don't mind it. it depending on how I feel, it, it's, it's fine. I don't like it. I mean, it's not fun. Like, if you go to a party or like, like these type of things, it's, awkward silence is the worst thing you want to do. It's because people will, like, imagine what they're saying in your hair is like, oh, this guy's an asshole type of thing. I, you know, actually, I'm at the point in my life where I don't give a shit what people think. Of course not. Me. You're close to 30. Well, who cares? When man? you go, usually it's statistic. Like whenever somebody says, "Oh, I don't like that guy," it's like, "Okay, that's your opinion. I don't give a shit if you that's don't a, like that's me." That's what I'm saying. And they're basically. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you don't you if you don't respect me. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like, like my grandma was telling me uh, like a week ago, she was like, "You know, people are gonna uh, disrespect you because you're you're going you're always going out every day. You're going to see blah 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 girls, this and that." And I'm like, I don't care what people think about me. I could care less about the respect. No, that should I? You should, nobody should really care. The thirties are basically the thirties are defined as as people who don't who already been established their ground. People don't they don't care, and whatever people say is like laugh. It's just funny. It's technically funny. Maybe if if a uh, sixteen year old me was told that someone disrespect me or doesn't like me, I'll kind of question it and kind of ponder why. Well, I mean that's because you're a teen. Yeah, because they're more sensitive. You know, like they're like fucking they're they're Cutting. what is it they're more in tune with their emotions emo mm -hmm. being depressed being turning on a candle in your room and super just sensitive whatever. listening to yeah. the used or the cure i still like the used i hate the used the cure is pretty cool though the cure is good i don't get me wrong but the used suck i hate the used i just like one album from them i don't care it's still, yeah. the used still suck man yeah see, that's him sucks too dude Sing. i don't like him him sucks a big time <laughs> Everybody loves that, that band. I hate them. But uh, <laughs> I hate wait, em. see, but you gotta compare these three categories. So you got you got teens. Teens usually have a tendency to follow trends and you easily brainwashed. S some of our era does too, but thirties usually are. I think we did this long enough. So. Yeah. Peace. We're gonna finish this up.
but yeah, so we just ended the video on the on Instagram. Uh, statistics mean uh, is that we got three people viewing us from whatever how many friends you got on there. Mm-hmm. Who was who was the last person that kept going? Uh, there was a bunch of them actually. How many? Well, there was like there was like three, but it didn't say if they if they were still in the. the they usually says that they left. No, it, it, well, I guess maybe they were still on. Actually, it didn't end. I picked it up. My face was still <laughs> stand on the ship. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Our 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 uh, being thirty usually that we are defined as the people who don't care anymore. We don't care. Put that one back there. Because we don't care anymore. Because yeah, why? Why should we care? Should we care because this is crazy. what? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Right. Like, why should we care? <clears throat> I don't give two shits what people say about me. The last thing I want is like, seriously, like I lived a, a life where I really never cared actually, but it it I lived a life where I established my ground and you. Because there's a lot of people, especially uh, insecure. I don't want to sound sexist or nothing but insecure women some of them are they really want to get approval from society or all their friends by wearing all this makeup and, and getting comments on their instagram saying oh you're beautiful that's you're what i'm saying like that and then when they take off that ma that makeup it's like are you talking about are you? teens or you're talking about like our, well, our just age. in general like no anybody no not, not all women do that you gotta well, just, just just like the you know, like the the ones that are that do care about their looks and their appearance and everything like that. Yeah, but well, that's thanks to uh, magazines and yeah. Like all for me, shit. I don't fucking care. Like I when I go out, sometimes I'll go in like fucking shorts, like shorts above my fucking knees. And they're like, why wear those shorts? Like I don't care. It's hot, man. No, yeah. shorts are not supposed to be long. No, I understand that. And then when I'm going to the store, I'll I'll wear my PJs and shit. No, I see, but now you're in you're in this age where you don't give a fuck. Well, even before, I didn't really care what I looked like, really. You did care. I remember. May maybe when I was <laughs> in high school, but after high school, I didn't care so much. Yeah, when you established ground, you figured out that you were out of high school. That's yeah. why you didn't care. Because I don't want. But then, but to again, get... again, you gotta remember anything that's from your teens all the way to your mid twenties. Is you still care because you still have you you're still in the teenage mentality. Anything above your twenty fives or twenty six or so on, you don't care anymore. You're already established ground. You you don't give two <clears throat> shits. That's what I'm saying. Like thirties are known to be the. Yeah, people. I don't need anybody's approval. I mean, even okay, maybe I'll I will dress up like look fancy if I'm going on a date with somebody. Yeah, but if I'm just going out with friends and we're just going to a fucking. A dive bar where there's no dress code it's like why even bother don't i don't dress to impress you know because i did meet this girl one time this was a while back this is probably 2014 i met this girl at this bar off of l street and she i forgot how old she was I think she was like 22 or something like that and at the time i was probably 26 and she liked me because I was at the bar and I was just talking to a, some old guy that fucking annoys the fuck out of me every time he talks to me. Like some dude, he passed me an, uh, a fucking uh, piece of paper that had her number on it because I guess she was too shy to give it to me. So she, the dude just slided it over. I grabbed it and I, it said Brianna on it. Yeah. And then I actually met with her before work. Uh. And I called my coworker because me and my coworker were pretty close. So I told him, hey, man, could you just uh, stay a little lo lo longer? And I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah. I, I, I went there. We, I think I was at a Chili's somewhere off of like an East Lake or something like that. Yeah. And I told her I had to leave because I had to go to work. And then I, t I texted her while I was at work because I worked at a construction site. There was nobody to watch me and I was pretty much with my own boss. So I was like texting her and everything. And then she told me, I don't like you because the way you were dressed. I like somebody that dresses nice. I'm like... Didn't I just tell you I was going to fucking work? <laughs> That's why I was wearing boots, black, uh, fucking black dress pants, and a white t-shirt. Yeah. I wasn't there to impress you. I just wanted to hang out for a bit. But no, yeah, but there's people, like I said, like, people, okay, we're all different people. People <laughs> like different things. I used to come. Yeah, especially that girl was young, you know. I think she was Again. like in her 20s. Yeah, see, yeah. Is, yeah. Again, they all get care about looks, like they, the ones I've. Been. Yeah, like I mean, normally I dress pretty decent, just like how you dress right now: jeans, fucking t-shirt, 
and fucking whatever, you know? Yeah. No, I know, but you gotta understand that everything, everything... But she honestly thought I was Mexican. I don't know why. Like, I sent her a text the following morning after I got home, and I was like, yeah, this is the guy you gave the number to at the bar. I was like, oh, okay. And then she was like, are you Mexican? I'm like, no, I'm not Mexican. I, I get that every now and then, you know? I'm actually Filipino and white. I think it's just my skin complexion that makes me look that way, but I don't I don't see it. Because you're Filipino. You're mixed Spanish and... Yeah, but, see the, but see, the thing is, I don't look anything like Mexican, though. You do look Mexican. Very much. Because mm. you're Spanish and Pacific Islander. <laughs> like how people would tell me I look Filipino. I don't see that. Because I have shinky eyes. I can see Japanese, but I can't see. Oh, because you're Japanese, because you know I'm Japanese. But if you yeah, didn't, but still, no, 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 no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think you were Filipino. <laughs> I wouldn't make that. I had many mistake. people think that was Filipino. I know what Filipinos look like, and you don't look Filipino. Of course, because in your no, but people who don't know what Filipinos then they well kind of well yeah if they're like kind of like you know not culturally yeah, yeah you know educated yeah but no I understand that but uh, what I'm saying is that. It does. It does matter what, how old you are. I mean, there's some girls that work out for the. That's why. Age. That's why I made this thing where I don't date anybody younger than 24. Of course not. Fuck Anything no. Anything younger than 24, they have a certain standard that they follow. I mean, everybody has to have their own standards, you know. Especially when when it comes to me meeting women, I, I have a pretty high standard of what kind of person has to be. And with looks, like I said before, it it could either be like a between like a five and a seven that's fine but if your personality lacks then i i would lose interest pretty fast no of course not that's what i'm saying like you never date i always date well my girlfriend's 24 right now but yeah. I, then i met her like four or five years ago so i was, I was still i guess in that mid-teen area but now mm-hmm. i just don't give a shit <clears throat> right now i just don't give a shit i just like just keep going but yes of course i would date my own my own age because it's i found it much more not so or older, you know, not, not older by like a certain, you know, maybe my cutoff age is probably like somewhere between thirty two or thirty four, maybe. True. Nah, I think mine is like thirty, thirty two. Thirty, thirty two. Yeah, well, because I'm twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So thirty, thirty two is good for me because I don't wanna, I don't wanna be dating someone that's thirty five. It's not that I'm saying they're too old. It's just I'm not, I haven't reached that mental state in that age. Because you still have to incorporate mental age at mm-hmm. the same time. Because that person can maybe like something older than you do when you're still behind thinking about something from your mid, like your mid twenties or so on or whatever right. that age is. Exactly. Because those, usually those some people not too many. I'm not saying that all of them do. Uh, some people do think about the future, and then we're still over here trying to figure out the future. That's the difference. Right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But yeah, but yeah, whatever, dude. It's seriously different, man. I don't know. Everything's incorporated in this world. Now uh, it just seems everything's trending. Things are just trending now. Now more it's about trends, it's not about news and facts and so. On. Well, kind of like facts, but people take facts way too to the butt. Like, what are you doing? This fucking Bill Nye the Science Guy told me this. Well, Bill Nye the Science Guy go fuck himself. I'm not saying that. I mean, science... But he's actually a scientist, though. Yeah, he is a scientist, but science, technically, if you look it up in dictionaries, it's a study of a theory. That's what science yeah, is. Yeah, every, because every scientist, they have their own theory. They're not always going to agree. Yeah, and people use it as fact. Yeah. Some of these things can be, like... Just like what, what people find, like, say, if they have, like, some kind of illness that they're trying to get rid of, they go on, like, WebMD or something Yeah, like that. exactly. Those are, most of those uh, people that are on that website that are replying to your shit are doctors, but they only tell you what you want to hear. Of course. And then not like that. Not what you don't want to hear. Usually all the prognosis they give you are related to many other because uh, sim- oh, plus you're, you're 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 asking these doctors that are giving you free answers. They're n- you're not paying them to uh, to true truthfully answer your question. Yeah, no, but at the same time, uh, like all the prognosis they give you can relate to many other diseases. Another yeah, there's a, there's a lot of them that have the same symptoms. Exactly, yeah. kind of like psychology does the same thing. Yeah. There's there's so many symptoms that can relate to so many fucking. Like diseases, mental illness, and so on. 
Uh, just so everybody knows, whoever still listens to this podcast, um, we're going to do a little experiment next Wednesday. We're going to see if people lean towards more the shorter version of our podcast. Because I noticed when I was rendering all their old old podcasts into audio that um, some, of our, some of our old podcasts are pretty pretty short. They're like 40 minutes long, 30 minutes long, 50 minutes long. They don't even go past an hour. So we're gonna try that next week and see what happens. Maybe, maybe next week or the week after. I'm not really too sure. Let's see what happens. How yeah. long? Where are we on right now? We're on 45. 45 is not bad. Yeah. 45. But oh, yeah. There's something else I want to talk about. I can't remember what it was though. Loopy. But yeah, it's it's um. Everything's on facts and so on. People care more about facts. Don't get me. Don't get me wrong. Being educated is fantastic. That's perfectly fine. That means you're educated. But when you use education in the wrong circumstance, social, uh, what is it? Social relation, I guess you can say. Uh, it, it, it doesn't relate. Like if we're having a natural conversation and all of a sudden you bring it, like I say something funny. And you're like all of a sudden it become this, this like uh, temperance freaking person temperance meaning this a show called bones and you give me fact and i'm like i'm just trying to be funny why you gotta be such a fucking drag and a douchebag about the shit like mm-hmm, that you mm-hmm. know there's no there's no more I'm sorry. last one but yeah like it i don't like that it's annoying and there's a reason for it, it not being there uh. but yeah i don't i don't I, that annoys me like oh no that's that's bullshit oh my like if i said oh whoa I don't know, dude. Like dinosaurs, remember that show? Dinosaurs? Yeah. Okay, but like kind of like saying, oh yeah. Dude, those animatronics. Exactly, and it's like, oh, you know. Man, that was a, uh, that, that that was a good ba- show. That baby was kind of creepy, though. Yeah, I know. But can you imagine, like, you brought, bring that up as like. I remember in a uh, McDonald's, they had those dinosaur toys where, where it's like a little, like a little, there's like this little tube that goes on the back and you press the button. Yeah, and the do little action. Phone? Yeah. I had the baby in it. It just does this with a spoon. Yeah. No, but, um. But you like if you brought that up and someone goes no you know that that's not accurately it's not accurate it's a blah 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 and it's centuries that and centuries that and like well yeah anybody would tell you like oh that, how do you know dinosaurs sounded like that exactly but that's what I'm saying like when people bring fact into like a fictional conversation you know, let's let's go back on time travel okay say you want to go back to the prehistoric ages when the cavemen and shit I want to go back there and see what dinosaurs really sounded like if they sounded nothing like the way they depicted in movies I'm gonna be like. You motherfuckers. What do you, like I said, it, like how do they determine? Because they don't have vocal cords. Yeah. They just assume that it sounds like. Well, I think what they do, they they base it off their ancestry. Like chickens are the ancestors of T. Rexes. So they kind of base it off of that, and it's oh, if so this big ass dinosaur is big. So imagine if a chicken was big. So how their vocal cords would be much more different, and how loud it would be, how many decibels, and so on. I'll probably look that up later and see how they determine they sound like that. I mean, there is bones. Obviously, there is bones of prehistoric animals and so on. But it's it's again, it is science. It's a study of theory. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people do question a lot of things in this world like uh do aliens do really exist you have two sides of this conversation you have the side that who do believe and the side who don't believe and then okay l- let's just say this for the sake of this conversation that aliens do exist i don't well just just say two sides yeah yeah okay they, if they do exist i don't think they look that you i don't think that you would be able to tell they were aliens maybe they look like something what they show like in fucking books or movies or whatever but then again you never know they could be one of us <laughs> one of us yeah one of us man they could be walking around and say fuck it i'm an alien nobody knows true i mean you have the theory of them being able to uh what is it called to shapeshift I yeah, mean, there's yeah. one theory. I mean, according to what I've read, there's about 60, uh, 67 to Because maybe, maybe, seven. maybe it's a little bit far-fetched for it to believe in aliens, but maybe I do believe there is life in the universe going like out of space or some shit. Maybe just, we just don't know. They're light years away, maybe, maybe you know? I'm more of a factual person. I need to see it. I don't well, believe I, it. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just yeah, no, I, know, I know what you're talking about. But it's kind of like the whole if a tree falls and no one's around doesn't make a sound. 
type of situation. It still makes a sound. Of course it does. <laughs> I don't. I don't get that. I don't know if you, it's like if nobody's around. Do, do we still? Does it still make a sound? It of course, does it make. fucking does make a sound. Of course, there is life out there because we have there's there's fucking trees have germs in it and all the, you know yeah. everything's made by uh, yeah like, like trees aspect. are like like uh, like trees are alive yeah like yeah. that but alien wise like people who could humanoid looking motherfuckers uh, i don't know dude that's kind of weird like people who say i got probed in my ass why would an alien want to probe your ass I don't know where they got that from. I don't why, know. why would aliens want to probe you for what? What are they looking up? And why ass? would they, they want to tag you? That's they the they, they want to get your shit and fucking examine it. I know. That, I I believe that. They, I don't know. I don't know why they would even tag a, a hillbilly. According to a lot of studies, the most people who get abducted are people who live on farms or yeah, in the farm. hillbilly state. So. They're like, like they're like socially backwards, you know. Yeah, and it's weird because it's like you, you remember the the uh, the civil civil war. Remember civil war? It's like the south against the north and shit. And mm -hmm. then and like all of a sudden, the aliens are like, I'm gonna go towards the south and see what the fuck. I mean, these people are racist. This is mentally retarded. And these people are dumb. Like they believe that they're like they they are the highest race there is, which is kind of like the Hitler thing. Which is retarded. If there's more than one human being in race in this earth, then you're not the only one who are no. who, who are you know mega race, which is a little crap. Like the alpha race. Yeah, exactly. There you go. The alpha race. I don't believe in that. That's that's stupid for anybody to believe that. Why is there so many races in these in the world? Well, because they're you're it's because that's there you has know, to be speaking, variety. Speaking of cornfields, I had a dream about a cornfield one time. A cornfield. Like I was. I don't know, like that. I don't remember the dream completely, but I remember I was in a cornfield, lost. It was me and my uncle. I don't know, it's fucking weird as shit. And we went in the tool shed. We were looking for something, and then that's all I remember. I was like, why the? F I woke up and I'm like, why did I dream about? I was in a cornfield, and there was a random shed in the middle of that cornfield. Maybe it was your like your white past. Your ancestors. <laughs> I don't think my ancestors were, were fucking corn farmers. But they, who? Where does your mom live? She lives in Oregon, man. There's oh. like no farm. Well, there, there might be. is farm. But she didn't grow up on a farm. No. No. What about her so. ancestry? I don't know too much about my ancestry. You should probably ask her. I don't know, but because I know I'm Irish and German or something like that. Oh, so you're mutt. Yeah, well, we, we, we explain this in a second. I know. I'm used to fucking around. Yeah, my Spanish, Irish, Filipino. Oh. German. Yeah. But, but yeah, like the whole alien situation. Why would an alien go to the south? Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there's not smart people like, in the like south. A, like those crop fields. Yeah. Where they do the little designs right there. But you gotta remember too. Like, those are man-made. Yeah, of course. But I mean, then you have skept skeptics who are like, oh no, those are aliens made. But but the, my whole point is, I just can't believe that was in the fucking news. People, they just get like a rake, they modify it so it's like flat on one side, and they just fold the the fucking. The field down, and then it makes that design. I think what the added thing was that it was full of radiation. That's what it was. Uranium. There was like radiation um, specs where you, like sense. I think that's where like oh shit, type of thing. Oh, like the thing those aliens that did that. Yeah, like, because they were like they, they, the reason that came up. Was, no, well, radiation is anywhere. That's that's just. No, no, I mean like radiation more than what it should. Just be. look at fucking uh, what is that 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 that, that uh, city in uh, in Russia. Well, I mean that's because of bomb. Where it's blow. like fucking all radiation like yeah the reactor blue yeah it's not safe but i'm saying there. that's what i'm saying like that that's why they made a movie of that it was uh yeah chernobyl diaries yeah that it was chernobyl out. but no i understand but i'm saying like the main reason that got really popular was because there was radiation specs of radiation like not specs but like high higher than it's supposed to in other words that's why people were like oh yeah those aliens and all this shit but like the whole yeah, so I like yeah, I don't think I'm not saying that all people from the south are stupid. I'm just saying there's more retarded people in the south. Well, they're not stupid, but they just lack the ed education yeah. that they need. Cause because mainly because they can't afford it. If they can farm, they're smart. I can't farm. Oh, farmers, they they actually I don't know what use they, a lot of science. They, they make a lot of money doing that shit. And they make a lot. And they make, and, use a lot and of I science. mean, it, it got so crazy that actually they have this. I saw a commercial on, on TV one time. It was uh, Farmers Only. It's like a dating website just for farmers. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember. I, I saw it. I was like, they have that now? Barely. Yeah. No, but don't get me wrong. They're not. I'm not saying Farmers they're Only. I don't know why they want to date only farmers, but whatever. But usually the people who get abducted are trailer trash. Yeah, the ones that the, claim that they get abducted and they probe me. The tweakers and... <laughs> 
and all this shit. But then you I go, think you, that the sun just fried their brain. They thought they maybe they had a dream of getting pro, but it wasn't true. You also have Art Bell, though. Art Bell, you ever heard of this guy? Art Bell is this this uh, radio host who used to well, obviously host a radio called Coast to Coast, and then he would like interview people who had like paranormal theories and all this weird alien shit and all this stuff that was earth there's another earth they that people that some of them thought one of them thought they were an angel and so on all that weird thing that people like on like a question and he mm-hmm. would question all this and then there's a there's an episode where there's this guy who supposedly worked at era 51 and he called um he called it Art Bell and saying with saying all these stuff, and all of a sudden the phone is cut off, and then the electricity went out on there, and and then the I guess uh, what happened is that because the last thing the guy said he's like, oh you bet, like they're gonna catch me and then they're gonna kill me, so on. and after that nothing was known about the guy, and the, I think the wife called and then said that, you know that her husband was you know right and did work for her fifty one and so on, but I don't remember what well, you have to watch. Yeah, the, the, the I mean. The, yeah, the governments are keeping a lot of secrets from us. Like, Area 51 is probably number one on the list, but... I don't know, man. I mean, if feeling maybe one of these days, probably not now, but maybe in the, in the distant future, maybe they'll reveal, like, they'll come out and say, you know what, your speculations were true, aliens do exist, and we have a body right here. There's so many theories to the alien thing. Yeah. So, but yeah, do you want to at least end it then? Yeah, I guess we'll just cut it short. We're at 56 minutes right now, so, um, yeah, I guess, uh, we didn't have really much to talk about on this podcast. I don't know, for some reason, I just felt like it was kind of off today. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, anyway, just make sure to subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, and then also, um, what is it called? Uh, comment. Ch- ch- comment, please. And also check out our, uh, our, uh, our store too we have shirts and stickers once again it's de- designed by humans.com backslash shop backslash lower class podcast i'll leave it in the description like always all right thanks for listening this is ziggy this is pony